Let's take a look now at discounts and increases. So in the first question, we know that Yarkov buys a pair of trainers that has a retail value of £120 and the shop is offering a discount of 20%. So how much is he gonna pay for the trainers? What we need to do is we need to calculate 20% of the 120 and then take it off. That's how you do the discount. Um, so what is 20% of 120? Well, 10% is 12, so 20% is double 12, which is 24. So we need to subtract 24 from the 120, so therefore Yakov will spend 96 pounds on the trainers. The next example, we know that the property has increased by 35%, so what we need to do to work out the new amount is simply calculate 35% of 280,000 and then add it on. Now to calculate 35%, we are gonna use the multiplier 0 0.35 times 280,000. And 0 0.35 times 280,000 comes to 98,000. So that's how much it is increased by. So we need to add that on to the 280,000. And we get a final answer of 378,000 pounds. If you're good with your percentage increases though, since this has increased by 35%, instead of working out 35% and adding it on, instead of using the multiplier 0 0.35, which is our basic percentage multiplier, we can use the multiplier for a percentage increase, which is adding one to the basic percentage multiplier. So instead of using 0 0.35, if we multiply by 1.35, we'll go directly to the final answer of 378,000 pounds. If you're not sure on these percentage multipliers, go back and uh, have a look in the revision section on percentages. So percentage profit, so profit, uh, the percentage profit is the total profit divided by costs multiplied by 100. So let's have a look at the first example. So Carl buys, Carl buys his house for 190 and sells it for 235. So the profit is the difference between what he sells it for and what he buys it for. So 235,000 minus 190,000 is 45,000 pounds. And his costs were what he spent, which was 190,000. So we need to divide 45,000 by 190,000 and then multiply that by 100 and we get 23.68. Let's just round that up to 24%. So he's made a 24% profit. In the next example, Rebecca buys some wood for 35 and turns it into a table for 85. So her profit is 85 minus 35. So that's a profit of 50 pounds. Her costs were just the 35 pounds. So 50 divided by 35 times 100. And you're gonna be a bit alarmed by the answer because it's 142.8, 143% we'll round it to. And some people won't like that because that is more than 100%. But a percentage profit or any percentage increase can be any number. It can be over 100%. If something doubles in value, that is a 100% increase because it is increased by exactly the same amount that it was worth originally. It's increased by 100% of its original value. So here, um, this is more than doubled in price because 35 times two is 70. So therefore, it's gonna be a percentage profit of more than 100%. So let's look at this final example. Olga buys a car for 2,000 and renovates it. Now she spent a bit of money on it, uh, 1,500 on an engine and four wheels at 100 per wheel. So the wheels is gonna to come to a total of 720, which is the four times 180. We're gonna add on what she spends on the engine, which is 1,500, and the cost of the car itself, which is 2000. So her costs are 4,220. Now her profit is the difference between 8,000 and 4,220. So her profit is 3,780. Her costs are 4,220. So we need to do 3780 divided by 4220 times 100. Again, same formula, profit divided by costs times by 100, and that comes to 89.57. Let's just round that up to 90% profit.